start the video without plugging in my microphone. Hang on one second, and excuse the buzz in a second. Ah, been a crazy day, so just getting on live now. So this is a slightly later time than usual, so I just plug in myself in. All right, cover your ears for a second. Okay, now you should be hear me properly. Um, hi, good evening, welcome to my daily broadcast. A little bit later than usual, because I had a long fall day after a guppy and didn't get a chance to do this till now. But I want to talk about this today. So this is episode number six, 900, 906, not 609, 906. And the topic today is about uh, ladies you declare kings only. But why do you keep attracting princes? And I'll explain what that means and, and give you some metaphors and some archetypes and some understanding of where you want to move to, what you may be doing incorrectly, and what you want to do differently. Before all of that, Lindsay, I want to use my, I'll try that in English. I'd love to introduce myself so you know who I am and why I do these talks every day. Um, my, my name is Barry Silver, in case you haven't seen the, my name anywhere around the broadcast. I'm an inspirational speaker, spiritual guide, love and relationships expert, and the author of the best-selling book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, a book for singles and couples, men and women, that'll help you have a better chance at relationship, a better relationship before you have one, and have what you want in life. It's a good book, I'm kind of biased. Um, and I help women create balance in love, life, and business because I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine. That's why my coaching guidance expertise is in helping women do that, which is why this talk is very relevant. Um, that's also why this talk started, actually, almost three years ago, called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. And again, today we're episode number 906, so getting up to the magic thousand, whatever magic about that is. <clears throat> and the topic today is, ladies, why do you keep, why, you, why is it you keep declaring kings only but you keep attracting princes? And I'll explain that in more detail and explain why that may not be working for you. Ready? Let's dive in, shall we? So first of all, let's put some archetypes in place. <clears throat> well, first of all, let me say it this way. Ladies, you don't want a prince, <laughs> to put it simply. Because unless you want to play at being a princess, energetically speaking, you don't want to be with a prince. Now, I'm borrowing some language from, from Alison Armstrong, who's one of my favorite teachers in the masculine, feminine, male, female conversation. And she talks a lot about the about um, the Queen's Code and the hero's journey. So she thinks more about men being heroes. But she's talking about the archetype of the king, prince, knight archetypes with a proviso. So let me say this this way, first of all. So just in the framing of this conversation, ladies, because of your magical gifts of fluidity, let <laughs> me polite with that, um, your role as queen, princess, tunt, Temptress, waif. There's some. There's some other labels in the archetype structures, not are not fixed. Meaning that you as women have a lot of fluidity amongst your ranks and roles and different places. Whereas the masculine tends to establish at one place and move up to the next level. Move up to the next level. Doesn't play within all of them. So if you're pursuing a relationship with somebody who's basically a prince, they're not established in their kingship at this point. Which is why you don't want to do that. But so many women have understood now because they want to own their queenly presence, for sake of a better way of putting it, that they're in this dance of looking for a king to match them, to meet them, to be equal to them. Because kings and queens are equals in my book. And the way that Alison speaks about it, I believe the same way. Kings and queens, in energetically speaking, when you own your majesty, when you own your kingdom and queendom energetically, you're in a level of authority and autonomy that requires an equal to match with which is why many women I know who are now stepping, in, stepping into the queen level, which for me is above the goddess, and I'm using a lot of archetypes that hopefully you understand, but the goddess movement, frankly, is a half step. I've talked about this before, that a lot of women are coming out of their masculine shell and discovering they have a lot more flow, grace, power, authority, and majesty within them. And for some women, they look into the goddess movement as an opportunity, and I believe that's a stepping stone to something greater. So I put the queen energy above the goddess energy, just to be clear in my framing. Unfortunately though, or ineffectively though, a lot of women who are in that place of being in their queen role, queenship, are dating princes. Even though they clearly want to be with the king. As I said, kings only, that's kind of the thing they talk about. And I was talking to a friend of mine this morning that's inspired this talk, and I mentioned to her this was talking that was going to be speaking to that, because she knows about this. But I do want a privacy, so I'm not going to speak about her name or put her name out here. So the dance that you have internally about what do you want to have, what do you want to attract, what you want to enjoy as a relationship has to be aligned to what you really want. So when you declare that you want 
this thing, king, whatever that is for you. But what you're getting is prince or knight, something lower, so to speak. And I don't want to necessarily judge better or worse, but I'm speaking to levels. There's something out of alignment. Because what you're declaring and what you're getting aren't matching. And this is the piece. And I've talked about this actually yesterday and the day before in different flavors. So I'm giving you another flavor today. Is that dance internally is out of sync. Meaning that your ability to attract and what you're thinking you're attracting aren't the same. And it's easy to say, well, you know, I'm going to attract a king and it's going to line up easily and you're going to have everything you want. I'd like to say yes, but unfortunately, not so fast. What you're um, not aware of, perhaps, I want to be very careful how I frame this and couch this because I don't want to make anything wrong about this. This is part of the journey, by the way. So where you are now may not, is not where necessarily you want to be, and it may not be necessarily where you were. So just be aware that you're on a journey framing this. And one of the pieces of the puzzle is that what you're intending to have happen as a conscious intention, mindset, focus, intention, isn't always and quite often isn't aligned with your subconscious automatic pilot. And so what you're saying is that you deserve a king, you want to be with a queen and everything about a king, but somewhere inside, you're still playing at the level of a princess. Now I'm using that intentionally to give the structure, meaning king and queen higher up, prince and princess lower down. If you want to attract higher, but you're getting lower, there's something internally out of alignment. Makes that point clear. Now again, you can use your own languaging on this. I'm using what I'm framing to describe those categories, those levels of ownership of self and of masculine feminine autonomy for sake of better argument so that's why i'm abbreviating to king and queen and prince and princess so make sure i keep i mean i'm i'm so like boxing this in to make it clear so i want to make sure this is clear for you ladies especially now many can get the same value from this from flipping the script for yourself but ladies one of the things i'm so aware of so many of my clients have gone through this is that you say you want to get a certain level of relationship, but what you're getting is lower down, so to speak, or less developed, or less aware, or less amazing, or less whatever it is, is because some part of you believe that's all you can have. Did that one sink in for a second? The dance of relationship, I should say the choice of relationship, doesn't necessarily come from your conscious intention. Unless. Dun, 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 unless. Which is unless you do the inner work. Because setting an intention for something to happen and for it to actually happen has to be an, a real an alignment inside where you're actually aligned up with your, your intentions, your vision, your dreams, and your calling. So it all fits together. But for most people, that's not, unfortunately, a default state. There's stuff in the way, so to speak. And so by not believing you can have what you want, you get what you believe you can have, which is less than that. So you say you want a king, but you believe you can only deserve a prince, then what you're going to attract is a prince, not a king. So if you don't mind that, then go ahead, no problem. Everything's fine, go ahead as you want. But if you're like most of my clients, well, if you're like all my clients, but most of the women I know, what you want in terms of quality of relationship is to be with a king. Now, again, owning your queenship to be in equal rates with that is part of it. The second part, and perhaps the deeper part, is to, is to un, undo the knot. As I said ultimately yesterday about cutting the knots, um, but if you untie the, the bows and ribbons you tied around yourself that are limiting beliefs, limiting judgments, lack of, no, I'll say that in that way, feelings of unworthiness, I want to say it this way, because I want to make it clear that this is not about judging what you're doing, it's about making clear you understand what you may be carrying inside that's getting in the way of what you want. There are so many people out there teaching, and I teach it too, like having affirmations and intentions and, and creations, and my online course has part of that, is that is in there as well. But what start, it, what has to begin with, though, is really knowing who you are, what your values are, where you stand, to get what you want. Thank you for the love of all that way. I love all the likes and stuff coming up, so thank you for that. So my encouragement to you is if you're realizing your choices are not the level you want to be at, they're lower than that. Again, I'm using king and prince as a convenient label, then if you want to be at the level where you attract a king as a queen, so again, first of all, you've got to make sure you own your space as a queen, which takes some development as well. But the second part is, is to really resolve, I don't think what the right word is, the beliefs you carry that keep you at the level of the prince. 
So it could not be the princess that you're at that level. So you may say you're at the queen, but some part of you, probably not conscious, is saying, yeah, I'm only a princess. So you only deserve a prince. You don't get what you want. So those of you who are in the place where you're playing in the level of queen, not all of you is there yet. Now, again, flipping the script for men, this is where the man is basically playing at a prince versus a king himself. He's got the same thing. So I'm not saying women only deal with this, but my audience is mostly women and my clients are mostly women. So that's why I'm speaking to women. Fair enough. So if you're in a place where you're still struggling with this, where you're not getting what you want, because basically the results you get are a reflection of what's working for you or not working for you or what you're believing, if you're not getting what you want, so you're not getting the kings, but you're getting princes, that's feedback. That's a clear sign from the universe that perhaps your perspective, your perception, your beliefs, your rules, your evaluating is at a different level than you think it is. And having understanding, first of all, that that's happening is the first step towards transformation. I talked about this quite a bit and I did talk about it on uh, two days ago, three days ago, about how the awareness is the first step. Becoming aware of the fact that you're carrying some sort of limiting belief some sort of limiting programming, some sort of limiting perception that what you're deserving isn't actually the level you think you're at, it's less than, is the first step. The second step is do the work. Now, that work is best accomplished with somebody who can help you, suggesting myself, of course, because this is where the work goes deeper and this is where you can actually have what you want. And it does require willingness. Because if, you're going to go, if you want to go, say, for example, you want to work with me as a coach and you want to get help to transform, but you're not willing to do the work and you're not really willing to face the fact that maybe you're not getting what you want, then we're not going to be able to work together. I'm very clear about when I work with my clients, I'm very selective. When we have a, a conversation, a discovery session, which I'll put the link in the comments so you can get one of those, we have to know we want to work together. It's not just me saying, course, come work with, work with me, because I'm also selective as well. Because to be honest, I only want to work with people who want to transform their lives and are willing to do what it takes to get there. Quite a lot of people aren't willing. I've discovered that a lot recently. So just to be clear, that's a choice point and a requirement to step into, step up to, and have what you want. So my invitation to you is to look at that for yourself, to become aware, and by shining a light, so to speak, on the dating choices you're making, the relationships you're attracting, the partnerships you're actually having, and are they at the level you want to be at? If they're not, then reach out to me for support. Be that blunt. So I'll put some links in the comments for you and I mentioned, and I already mentioned a couple that I'm going to talk about. So one of them is going to be a discovery session with me. So we can talk and discuss and see where you are and where you want to go. Um, I'll also put a link in the comments to my signature program called Attract the Man You Want for those of you who are ready to do the work. We want to create a vision, an intention, a power of where you want to go um, that is available with coaching because if you've got some issues that are stuck in the way on its own, it's not going to be as productive as when we work together as well. So it's available with and without coaching, just so you know. So link in the comments for that. And above all else, above all else, as I keep coming back to so many, many times, is part of this journey is to really learn to love yourself. I'm saying it's so abstract, but the truth, is, the truth is this. The more you love yourself, the stronger you get. The more you love yourself, the more accepting you get. The more you love yourself, the more forgiving you are of yourself. And the more you love yourself, the more free you become. That's why I'm a big proponent. I've been talking about this for three or four years now, where self-love is the best thing you can give to yourself as a gift as a service, as a resource, and a support system for yourself. So the link in the comments I'll provide as well is my, gu is my guided self-love meditation. It's two audio tracks with a workbook to help you realign yourself with yourself so you become more supportive of yourself and more aligned with yourself and so you can get what you really want. So those three links will be in the comments. I think there's anything else I'm going to put in there. That's it. Those three, those three get me busy. <laughs> So my, um, my encouragement to you is to consider for yourself what you want and if what you're getting matches that. If it doesn't match, something's off. Now, if you're lowering your standards and lowering your, your vision so it fits what you're getting, that's kind of a cheat. That's basically kind of a um, sidestepping the true issue. If you're really willing to become that which you want to attract, then you've got to step up to that level, which requires doing the work to get there. If you want to settle for less, I can't help you with that. You can, you're already doing it, so you can have what you want or have what you're settling for. But I personally think if you're ready to step up, you're willing to do the work to transform to get there, and I can help you with that. So face that choice point. 
choose higher, get support to get there, and have the love you really want. That's kind of my encouragement, my invitation, my recommendation, which is why the links will be in the comments. You can check them out, try them out for yourself, and get started. I am, <clears throat> excuse me, as I said before, I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine, which is why this topic is, is top of mind today, especially. And again, my friend spoke about the. My friend was the one that talked about this that started this idea for me. So I want to talk about it for her benefit and for everybody else who's watching. So if this has been of help to you, great. If you have any questions, comments, please put them below and I respond when I sign off. This is my daily Facebook Live, by the way. Um, it's every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, usually. <coughs> Excuse me, but today I was out late at lunch. Didn't get back until now, so I'm doing it a bit later than usual, but normally 5 p.m. Pacific time, right here on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby. Please watch me live. Be there. Be there tomorrow, same time, right time. Um, replays will be on my business page, which is Barry Selby, the author. That's my um, resource support archive, so to speak. They're, please like my page. They are stored there, but they're not all showing there because Facebook is doing its thing. But I do have more so on my YouTube channel where you can see them all. So if you go to my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby on YouTube, which is youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby, please subscribe to my channel. You can watch them there. There's a playlist, in fact, called Messages from the Masculine, where all of them live. So you can watch them all there and scroll through keyword search if it's there everything else you can find the ones you want to look for there's 905 plus this one out there so you can get insight on pretty much every aspect of relationship and more coming every day and uh, get the support you need i'm here to help my facebook lives will help you working with me directly will help you even more because they'll be personalized and and private and supportive and that's about it I thank you for watching as always. I hope this has been of help to you and a reminder to you as I always give, especially in the last few months is please take care of yourself. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.